Hello, I'm Choi Jae-hee. Today, I am going to present about a mediator-less microbial fuel cell using a metal-reducing bacterium, Schuonella putrefaciens. I'm discuss the following contents. Introduction, materials and methods, results, discussion. Over last two decades, a number of bacteria have been isolated and characterized based on their ability to use ferric iron as their electron acceptor. Studies have been conducted to understand the mechanisms of ferric iron reduction by bacteria. Physical and direct contact between the bacterial cell and ferric iron minerals is required for the anaerobic respiration. It was reported that approximately 80% of membrane-bound cytochromes of anaerobically grown S. putrefaciens are localized in its outer membrane. Electrochemical techniques could be the method of choice to study the electron transfer reactions in the ferric iron-reducing bacterium complementing biochemical studies. Several electrochemical techniques have been used to characterize redox proteins, including cytochromes. Large numbers of redox proteins are electrochemically active. However, direct electron exchange between a redox protein and an electrode is usually hindered by the peptide chain adjoining the active redox center of the protein. Bacterial cell itself is electrochemically inactive because the active electron carriers are enclosed by an electrically non-conductive cell wall and other surface structures. For these reasons, various electrochemical mediators have been used in the electrochemical studies of intact bacterial cells and to construct of microbial fuel cells. A microbial fuel cell is an electrochemical device which converts the chemical energy of fuel to electrical energy by the catalytic actions of microorganisms. Electrochemical mediators are essential for the microbial fuel construction. MFC have not been commercialized yet, and this may be due to difficulties in using mediators at a commercial scale. Recently, we have shown that anaerobically grown cells of the iron-reducing bacterium, S. putrefaciens IR1, are electrochemically active using cyclic voltammetry, and that the bacterium can be cultivated in an electrochemical cell without additions of any terminal electron acceptors. In this study, we describe the development of a mediator-less MFC using S. putrefaciens IR1. Material and Methods First Microbial Strains, Medium and Cultivation Bacterial strains listed in Table 1. Bacterial strains were grown under aerobic and anaerobic conditions. Direct electrode reaction of bacterial cells was examined by cyclic voltammetry. A cyclic voltammogram of the bacterial cell suspension was obtained using a potentiostat. Both anode and cathode of MFC were graphite felt. Platinum wire contacts were bonded to the electrodes with a conducting epoxy resin. The fuel cells were constructed using transparent polyacrylic material. The fuel cells had electrode compartments. The two compartments of each cell were separated by a cation permeable ion exchange membrane. Potential and current of the fuel cells were measured using a voltmeter. Organic acids were quantified by high-performance liquid chromatography. Results, cyclic voltammograms of the bacterial cell suspension. Cell suspensions were prepared from culture made under anaerobic and aerobic condition to determine their electrochemical activities. Figure 1 shows the cyclic voltammogram of whole cell suspensions of the bacterial stains used. Anaerobically grown cell suspensions of all S. putrefaciens strains used were electrochemically active. The wild type strain, MR1, showed the strongest activity, and the state road 21 showed reduced but significant electrochemical activities. Electrochemical activity was not observed in either suspensions of S. putrefaciens strains grown under aerobic condition, nor the coli cell suspension. The anode compartment of the MFC were loaded with freshly prepared to observe potential development under open circuit conditions. Figure 2 shows the change in the potential of the fuel cells. Before the fuel was added, approximately 0.21 volt and 0.03 volt were observed from the MFC containing suspensions of S. putrefaciens IR1 and E. coli, respectively. The addition of lactate as the fuel to the cell containing IR1 resulted in a rapid rise in potential up to 0.5 volt. The MFC containing E. coli did not show an increase in potential following the addition of glucose as fuel. 
However, when an electrochemical mediator, methylene blue, was added to the fuel cell containing E. coli, an increase in potential up to 0.52 volt was observed. Similar experiments were carried out using the cell suspensions of the wild type and mutant strains of S. putrefaciens. As shown in Figure 3, before the addition of fuel, about 0.2 volt of potential was observed. However, when the fuel was added to fuel cell, rapid increase of potential was observed. This increase in potential is mainly due to the increase the ratio of reduced slash oxidized cytochromes. The mediator less MFC were prepared using S putrefaction strains and fed with lactate. Figure 4 shows the current generation patterns of the fuel cells using different S putrefaction strains. The fuel cell containing IR1 produced the highest current. The strain MR1 produced lower currents than IR1, and the mutant strain state route 21 produced the lowest current. The MFC using E. coli in the absence of the mediator produced negligible amount of current. Further experiments were carried out using the strain IR1 as a model strain that generated the highest potential and current in the mediator-less microbial fuel cell. A microbial fuel cell was set up using S. putrefaciens IR1 with lactate as the fuel. Lactate concentration was less than 0.01 millimol per liter in the anode compartment of the fuel cell when the current had reached the background value. Lactate was consumed in the anode compartment, coupled to current generation, and repeated lactate additions were coupled to current generation. However, a gradual decrease in both columbic yield and maximum current value were observed during the sequential batch operation of the microbial fuel cell. To check the effect of bacterial concentration, microbial fuel cells were prepared using different cell concentration of S. putrefaciens IR1. The potential development from the fuel cells were recorded separately before and after the addition of fuel. The initial potential was proportional to the added bacterial cell concentration. This result implies that the potential development is directly related to the concentration of electrochemically active components on the bacterial cell surface. Using the same fuel cell configuration, additional experiments were carried out to explore the relationship between the bacterial concentration and columbic yield. When the potential was reached to the steady state after the addition of the fuel, the current through the 1000 ohm resistor was monitored for 12 hours and was converted to columbic yield. Without the bacterial cells, no significant current generation was observed in the fuel cell. Over the range of 0.5 gram per liter of bacterial concentration, the columbic yield reached an approximate equilibrium value. Effect of the electrode surface area, a series of fuel cells with different anode surface areas were operated for 12 hours using bacterial suspension to measure columbic yield with the 1000 ohm resistor. As shown in figure 8, the columbic yield was increased proportionally with the increase in surface area of the electrodes. This result indicates that further increases in columbic yield might be possible with the incorporation of a larger electrode in the fuel cell construction. Discussion Biofuel cell need electrochemical mediator for efficient electron transfer of electron from microbial cells to an electrode. In this study, we show evidence for direct electron flow from an iron reducing bacterium to the electrode using the cyclic voltammetry technique and the fuel cell. Cyclic voltammetry showed that anaerobically grown cell suspensions of the ferric iron-reducing bacterium, S. putrefaciens, are electrochemically active. Potential was developed between the two electrodes of the open-circuited microbial fuel cell using S. putrefaciens, and current was generated when the fuel cell was loaded with a resistor. These results, therefore, suggest that current generation from the metal-reducing bacterium may depend on their electrochemical activity principally oxidation of fuel by the bacterial metabolism and the direct electron transfer capacity from the bacterial surface to the electrode. The sequential batch operation of the microbial fuel cell showed that the current generation is fuel dependent. These results show that S. putrefaciens can transfer electrons to the electrode without the aid of a mediator. A proposed schematic diagram of the electron flow in the mediator-less microbial fuel cell system in presented in Figure 9. The electrochemical activity is believed to be due to the direct electron transfer from the electron carriers located on the cell surface, possibly outer membrane cytochromes, to the electrode. 
Potential development and current generation by the mutant state Route 21 was lower than those by the wild strains, MR1 and IR1. These results suggest electrochemical activity of the bacterium is associated with the OM cytochromes rather the ferric reductase. The current generation by the microbial fuel cell was dependent on the bacterial cell concentration and on the electrode surface area. These results suggest that the electron transfer from the bacterial cells to the electrode also depends on physical contact between the cells and the electrode. Electron donors used by S. putrefaciens under anaerobic conditions are limited to few organic acids. For a general use of the microbial fuel cell electrochemically active microbes with the ability to use wide range of electron donors are needed in pure cultures or in consortia. We believe that more useful mediator-less microbial fuel cell system would be obtained by modifying and improving the fuel cell format and electrode. Thank you for watching my presentation. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button and give me a thumb.